work before, Kevin? Uh, my first job, uh, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese for like seven years. <laughs> What'd you do there? Everything. I would fix games, host parties, get kicked in the balls while dressed <laughs> up as the mouse. <laughs> yeah. Were you dressed up as the? I would dress up as the mouse. Oh. Yeah. How, do, do you have to control the eyes separately? No, the eyes the eyes don't move or anything. But oh. the hardest part is not talking. Like my first time, they told me don't uh, don't talk to anyone when you're uh, when you're in there because you don't have Chucky's voice. Some kid just walks past me and says, "Hey, it's Chucky." I naturally, I just say, "Oh, hey, what's up?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kid started crying. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, my first time. I yeah. Also, first time I dressed up as him, I had these really just shitty glasses that my lenses would pop out out of nowhere, and I'm getting dressed in it out of out, like in a rush, and the second I put the head on, both lenses pop out, oh, so I'm doing no. it completely blind. So I got to walk, walk through this sea of kids without, without <laughs> seeing anything. <laughs> Tripped over a couple of them. It was a, it was a bad day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that the worst day? Or did can you remember a time where it was just absolutely shitty? Like what what made you leave Chuck E. Cheese's? What what ruined the dream? Uh, beside, well, you know, the only the only perk of working there is that you get free uh, free birth control because once you work there for seven years, you never want any kids. <laughs> um, that's some, that's good, man. Yeah. I'd, Really, what made me leave? Because I moved, I actually moved from uh, Lombard to Berwyn, so I had I had no car, so I kind of had to I kind of had to leave. But really, it was it was the hours. I I worked like twenty five hours a week, so I barely got any money at all, mm. and it just it wasn't worth it. But uh, it was a good job to have when you're in high school because when you have no uh, no rent or bills to pay, it's actually pretty decent money. Sure, plus all those cute kids. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that's. That's your that's your scene. That's not so much mine. Sure. Yeah. Um, we used to have like this. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you know where it's at, but the, the Chuck E. Cheese on Roosevelt, right by here, is uh, had a Chinese buffet right next to it. We used to have like this uh, this tour bus of old Chinese men that would go to the buffet and stand outside of the Chuck E. Cheese windows, just smoking cigarettes and pointing at their kids. <laughs> <laughs> Creepiest fucking thing in the world. Uh, did they ever come in? Never came in. It just it just looked like a sea of like. Of Chinese uh, pedophiles looking but, at them. <laughs> Their bus dropped them off. They exactly. Go from Chuck E. Cheese to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Ugh. I want that kid to wear the costume. Yes, your yeah. little girl. How much for your little girl? Right. Yes. No, I, uh, my, my, my buddy had a, he, he's, he still has the job as the mascot for DePaul. Yeah. And he, he, he gets some goofy shit. Like he has to go to like, uh, you know, like there's certain seminars or certain like, school outings where he has to go and he'll like sign goofy autographs like a graduation or something yeah but the i think the coolest thing that he said he did was uh bl- he played with the blue man group oh, when, nice. they, when they came to DePaul. which i don't know how the fuck you do that if you're just like doing gymnastics and flips and I dressed wish. up as what a demon i wish i had that kind of experience my experience is more like i had this one kid i'm about i'm about 5 10 and there's this one kid who was literally half my height and he ran straight at me and then headbutted me in the balls. <laughs> uh, were you in the costume? Or? I was in the costume. And then you sounded like Chucky. Exactly, right? exactly, yeah. yeah. Wait, what does yeah. Chucky sound like? Like pretty much you have ever inhaled helium. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of like mo- that. Yeah, one moment. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll be back. You guys keep talking. All right. Bye, Phil. Bye. Are we like usurping his position now? Apparently. Man, right. everyone just... Podcast, the first ever recorded podcast. Q yeah. was Coup. it the birth control joke? Do you think? I think so. The, yeah. He just <laughs> well, right on. I'm gonna keep going interviewing you if you don't mind. Uh, that, that's fine. And Phil's gonna miss out on all this growing and bonding. Exactly. And it's uh, we're it's just icing him out. Right. It's one powerful by one. stuff. Oh, shh, shh, shh. he's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah. Little this... does he know, I was actually I actually came here to destroy the podcast. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> Is there a hole in this balloon? No, no. Here. Yeah. Well, what do you mean, Bill? You don't know what Chucky sounds like? What the fuck is wrong with you? I can't get God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't done Haley in like eight years. So, uh, this fucking guy doesn't know what Chucky sounds like. What the fuck? You just prick. Bell's wrong that with you. That is not what Chucky sounds like. Oh, my like. God. It's oh, man. Uh... Is it natural to get this lightheaded off of helium? I think so. What, am I a clown? Do I amuse you? <laughs> do I make you laugh? What the fuck? Oh, man. I don't think I can do any more. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Not with that. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, so wow. Chucky sounds like a monster. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Like, just the, the product of a nightmare. Yeah. Funny story. They actually, before I quit, they changed the person who plays his voice is now the lead singer of uh, Bowling for Soup. Really? Yeah, that's the guy who's, who plays Chucky now. That's... Cool. Plays, 
Chucky's in, voice. In Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. For what, like commercials and stuff? Yeah, he's actually the voice of Chucky now. Oh, that's that's that's, that's a cool fact. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, can you pull your mic? Like, just have it uh, maybe like three inches from it. Like, oh. how we? Yeah, sorry. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Good. Yeah. We'll we'll find out during editing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so cool. So. So yeah. Oh, that's right, Gavin's birthday party. Yeah, Gavin's birthday party. Uh, how did it go? It was cool. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I think I was saying earlier, like, uh, we had one kid who. Ha- is allergic to cats out of like 15 so you know fuck him he gets to stay outside right. in the 90 degree heat um and uh sounds yeah. reasonable yeah i mean uh he was the kid i stood up for when uh the lady threw dog shit at me nah, and so, that's how he repays you yeah that's the by karma. being allergic karma to your cat flows, right and no n- i'm gonna throw some fucking ice cream cake at you uh, if you come in here but he's not the one that's converting Kevin, right that's someone else. no no that that's the kid who um that kid was torturing the cat the whole time. The one like pro Catholic <laughs> is jump around torturing. I wonder where that anger is coming from. You know, it makes you think. He's gotta gotta go to church, All right? Get some Jesus in him. He got some cool presents. Uh, he got like this. I've never seen a bigger like Tommy gun, Nerf gun. Yeah, it's probably like five hundred bullets. The, the the biggest bitch about it is finding all the darts. Yeah, <laughs> shoot it because there's so many. No. I know they still made him that big still. Yeah, it's he can't even hold it because he's small for being like he's eleven, yeah. and he looks like a seven year old. And he had he needed like three friends to hold this Nerf gun with him. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> so, Aww. I don't know what they're training him for these days, man. Right? It's ice as shit. He's got to go to church. Well, they say get yeah. him young, right? Yeah. So, and did you did you guys ever see that ISIS rapper? I have not. No. Yeah, th- there's there's a serious ISIS rapper, and it's like some scary shit because the like it's very uh. I don't know what the word is like ISISified. Yeah. So, so so it's very like trap bass mixed with like Saudi Arabian dance music. Hmm. So I don't know. It was a while back, but it, and it it was just really goofy to see and take seriously. Like, yeah. yeah. We're gonna have we'll get thrown into a panic over a fucking rapper. That that's interesting. Actually, I didn't think something like that would ever exist. Yeah. But yeah, the the, the party went pretty well. We had a shitload of pizza. Nice. So was, was my was my like invitation like lost in the mail or something? I <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know man like Gavin I'm a hoot at, at, at children's birthday parties. Oh yeah, dude, you got the experience. With I know. Kids. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese for seven years. Yeah, and then he went to all those Chinese buffets. He, Gavin and told me the story the about Chucky talking to him when he wasn't supposed to, and I kind of uh, like I th- I didn't I didn't want to bring it up, Kevin. Like, there used to be these kids. And that would you know would like yank on my arm and stuff. Yeah. So I would always bring them in for a hug and I'd whisper in their ear, if you don't stop fucking yanking on my arm, your parents are gonna leave you here and get divorced. <laughs> wow, Chucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I made several kids cry. <laughs> was it in the helium voice? No, it wasn't. No. It was in my actual straight talking voice. But no one could prove it was me saying it to them at all though, so you know good, good luck. The the one I can't stop I can't get this like thought out of my mind. Every fucking time I went to Chuck E. Cheese and I forgot which one I went to. I think I think it was like maybe Displains or something, but every fucking time I went to, like every, there was at least two fucking games completely covered in either piss or oh, yeah. like some kids shat themselves in it. I've had to clean that stuff up so many damn times. Yeah. <laughs> we had this one kid who literally dropped trow and squatted in the middle of the floor. Wow! Yeah, good for him. And since I was the closest one to it, there, there, I was the one who got called to go clean it up. Did you wear the Chucky hands? No, at least for <laughs> sanit- to be sanitary. I should, I should have. Did they ask the kid to leave, or what do you do? They, they do nothing. Really pretty much? Yeah, they just say, "Oh well, pretty much it happens." My, one of my old managers uh, was saying that she used to have to clean up shit off the walls in the bathrooms and stuff. Yeah. People come, people coming in, smearing it all over the walls. Yeah, I don't understand that. And and you know, I got into a. That, that's funny you bring that up because I was saying how like I'm not on really good terms with my brother recently. Not gonna mention why, but I was telling him uh, how uh, because uh, we were talking about like family shit and how um, I'm not getting along with my, my aunt is a huge cunt in my family. Yeah, Wait, we all have we all have one aunt that's like that. Is this story leading up to someone rubbing shit on a yeah, wall? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because because right, what tell happened us about your aunt? Well, what, what happened is he's like, dude, we should just we should just fucking like. Have somebody throw a brick through a window. I'm like, no, we have to be cool with her. Go to her on the holidays, and then I'm gonna pull like a '90s homeless man, w- lean up against the wall, diarrhea all over the fucking wall in <laughs> her nice mansion. You know, she lives in a really nice townhouse, and that, that my I know my shit isn't gonna come out, so that'd be really. And he's like, 
And I'm like, you know, here I am trying to amuse him to get on good terms. And we got into a fucking two hour argument about why it's called the nineties homeless man shit. He's like, dude, is there a trend? Yeah. What the fuck? Like homeless men still shit on the wall these I mean, days. I never, I've never heard that expression before. Yeah. I don't know. It, I just, I have like these philisms I come up with. I would have just given her upper decker instead. Yeah. I, I, what is that? I don't know that term. Inside the bowl. Yeah. It's is when it? you, it's when you shit in the tank rather than the bowl. So that like, when they flush, the shit goes through. Oh. So you're placing, so you, here you are shitting in your toilet and you're thinking of flushing it away, but then more just comes in. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it never goes away. Like you're feeding it with the water. I don't know. I've never done it, so that might be something to try. Oh, man. Phil's got a bathroom. Dude, I know. totally. Yeah, man. Now uh, now I got to go. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. What? Just kidding. Not um, even, not even on the, are you talking about the wall or the upper decker? Because I want you, to decide. You'll find I, out. I Dealer's sound, choice. I want to sound how big of a bully you are, Bill. You know, it's just a 90s homeless man thing. 90s homeless, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. I'm not going to do that to your bathroom. Okay. Uh, and I don't think you should do that to your aunt's wall. <laughs> is, I mean, that, is that what I'm Robert's thinking, argument was? Like, no, hey, don't do that? No, no. He His argument was, why is it called 90s? That was literally the argument the whole fucking time. Why is it called 90s? He's like, is there an, uh, does, do, do like homeless men text and look at, oh, what's the trendy way of shitting in yeah. someone's bathroom today? So that was the argument. Did this happen during the 90s? I, I think it happened more frequently in the 90s. I remember oh. going to the bathrooms, there was a lot of wall shits in the 90s. I don't want I'm glad I didn't grow up where you grew up. Okay. But that was not my experience. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, because it made me think as a kid, I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. Like, honestly, it scared me as a kid thinking like, you know, do you just like lose aim as you get older? Like, why, why would somebody shit on a wall? You it's know? probably a mental thing. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I mean, don't know. I, I would think that they have some kind of some something not clicking for you to be able to wanting to reach inside the toilet, where you just you know produce the waste and then rub it on the and then rub it on the wall. Yeah. See, but at Chuck E. Cheese's it makes sense, but anywhere else it's just disgraceful. I think I remember kids shitting on the ski ball. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thing, <laughs> which is a good way to cover oh, it up, since those balls kind of look like a dried up shit. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. man, mm. I had there was this one kid. He uh he was he must have been still wearing diapers or something. He shat his diaper and it started running down his legs. So <laughs> I had to literally go on a shit expedition and clean up all uh, clean up any excrement I could find. Yeah, that's fun. It's like I, a scavenger hunt. Exactly. I actually had to go in, in like into the like the sky tubes and everything like that. Wow. So of course they send the fattest uh, employee they have there to go into these narrow ass tubes uh, that are full of children to go No, th- dude, I remember that I remember that like every McDonald's play place too, they'd fucking shit in yeah. the tubes. Oh, yeah. It's like, this is not fun anymore. Like, oh, man. There's a lot of stories of people getting sick from those ball pits and stuff. Yeah. All these kids peeing in them. My mom and yeah. dad would never let me go in them because of that. Well, I guess my mom's a fucking asshole, and we got some shit to sort out. Why'd you make me go in the ball pits? Because she's a terrible mother. Yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> who, she love you. Yeah. look who she raised. Yeah, yeah right? I know. Terrible work. She really dropped the ball on that one. Yeah. yeah. Look, at, look at what the fuck I've become. It's all your exactly. fault. This cocksucker. No, but... I, uh, I I that's that's a weird thing too is that when I worked for a I used to work for DCFS and be a transporter. Yeah. Most depressing fucking job ever. Oh, I, I would imagine. Cuz cuz you're just there's literally you know like the worst fucking parents ever, so like a crack addict and then like his kids and you have to one person drives the crack addict or hopefully they don't got to deal with them, you know, maybe put them like in the back of like a cage in a truck. Yeah. And then you drive the kids. And all we, the me- same meeting place was always the same meeting that it was that pl- you know on uh, like North and Mannheim maybe yeah that play place there yeah yeah it was always that that was always the meeting place it was weird as fuck maybe he found <clears throat> comfort in the tubes yeah maybe who knows probably found something else up there yeah yeah it was too it was so depressed like you had to find some kind of fun in the job it'd be like like I'd pick up the kids and they were like already crying like oh I don't want to meet dad I'd be like. I'll give you something to cry about, and it blasts the black metal and we're going <laughs> 80 miles an hour, you know? And they're like, okay, I'm ready to meet Dad now. Yes. Please get me out of here. I'm sorry about what I said about your mother like doing a poor job raising you. That's yeah, it's a very sweet thing. I top it off, right? You've got the paternal instinct. I, I got the DCFS experience. You That's know? right. And I'm, I just want to make it perfectly clear that I am not sorry for what I said. <laughs> so, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you're more exactly. confirmed, reinforced. It's exactly. a work in progress, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll say it again. G- she, Gavin's I'll, teaching me. You know? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's beautiful, right? 
Uh, or does that mean that you're just incompetent as a parent then? If Gavin's the one teaching you. Right? Yeah. Man, you bring up a valid point. Yeah. But I want to hear more about Chuck E. Cheese. How is the food there? Terrible. Terrible. You Terrible. Say. Really? Yeah. You know, like I said, seven years there, I uh you kinda start to develop a hatred towards the food. Sure. Yeah. I uh I used to have to make all these off item menu item off off menu things just so I can actually enjoy a meal there. Sure. Yeah. Uh, do they do they still serve booze? They do actually. So any fun stories about parents getting tanked and then shitting like everywhere in the bathroom? Uh not th- not in my experience at least. Um I've been told off by several people because I was asking for their for their IDs because they ring up the they ring up the beer and alcohol you you have to punch in their punch in their birthday for anyone doesn't matter who. Mm-hmm. So I used to get yelled at by a lot of grandmas and grandpas for making them walk to their car to get their ID and stuff. Why would they not bring their wallet with them? Yeah. Weren't okay. expecting to spend any money, I guess. At Chuck E. Cheese, I guess. Yeah, I guess they're wow, relying on their relying on the parents of their other grandchildren. Got you. Yeah, I remember I uh, I got uh, super drunk one time in high school, and I w- I got kicked out of Chuck E. Cheese because we were we went there to try and see if you can mosh to the band <laughs> there. Sure. And yeah, they they kicked us out immediately. But it didn't work out very well for you. No, no. no. It's and it's hard to mosh to that band too. Yeah. yeah. Well, who are you gonna do? They they, they don't like bo- they don't like bitch and complain like most punk bands in between <laughs> songs, you know. Yeah, I, how are the live shows? It's just that creepy like animatronic shit yeah, behind yeah, like that's a what curtain. I'm talking about. Yeah, I actually read online they're actually gonna start getting rid of those things now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? I guess there's just changing the times now. K- kids want the holographic Tupac now. You know. That'd be so. I I I would love a holographic Tupac. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Or like a holographic Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. With that horrible voice. That'd be cool. That would be. I want to go back to Chuck E. Cheese now, relive some of my childhood. Yeah, you you were talking about the food. I remember getting really, really fucking sick when uh, my ma always wanted just mushroom. And Ew. they were like always, like we when we got it, it was they were like all expired. I'm yeah. surprised I didn't fucking hallucinate, you know. Oh, I believe it. We used to, um, you, like, uh, we used to have like several boxes of mushrooms there. Like ones that are specifically meant for the salad bar because they're like the freshest white ones. Yeah, you always knew, like what stage the mushrooms were in by where they would, where they'd be going to either the salad bar or as they got brown and wilty, they'd always go on to the pizzas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just oh. Pl- plus you know like, I mean I-, I would assume the general idea most kids just like plain cheese. Exactly. So yeah. the mushrooms are probably gonna be the last ones fucking used. So exactly. You, yeah. So quick quickest to expire, right? Yeah. Exactly. Rare, rare, rare.